All right, Andy, excuse my messy garage. Here's a little walk around for you of my 73 crew cab uh, K30 with a 12 valve swap. Cab is an 88, super solid, no rust. I've had the carpet out and I put a little bit of dyno mat underneath. Got a new charcoal carpet kit. You can see that. This is the trim that goes on the front nose under the grill. These seats are out of the 73. And I think this was maybe aftermarket little trip meter that doesn't work and some lights that don't work. Um, these door panels are out of a 91 Suburban. Power windows do work. I'll show you in a second. ADA dash is decent. You got a couple cracks in the top. Um, cigarette lighter works. I think I said in my ad that the blower motor doesn't always work. Got lap belt because the 73. Stock Chevy front bumper. I built this grill out of some expanded metal and some angle. This thing controls all the windows. You can. Like so, and the doors individually work, and they're on a switch circuit, so you can kill them if you want to. Uh, the dash, I removed the factory gauges. I still have them if you wish. I was enlarging the holes and mounting like boost and pyro. I was going to get aftermarket oil pressure, trans temp, speedo, tachometer, and such. Um, here is the trans controller. It has a function to display your speed, and then there is... A couple of wires that you can mount to a switch for overdrive off um, and such speedometer output I'll show you the startup procedure so you're going to want to turn the ignition on turn the fuel pump on and then you use the key to engage your starter solenoid and then you use this button to start it I'm gonna give it a little bit of pedal to cut the firewall there is no fan shroud so don't put your hands in there when it's running factory dodge radiator factory dodge intercooler factory transmission cooler got dual batteries and I got it all of the factory wiring that ran in the engine compartment and ran it to the switch panel it does still have the receiver dryer for the air conditioner, but it does not have a condenser. It has a fast that came with the truck. I want to say it is a 120 maybe. And I have an additional spare pump that I bought because I was heading on a really long road trip and I didn't want to be stranded. So I have a spare pump for that as well. Um, you can see I dropped the front spring mounts for the rear springs to level out my pinion angle. In the rear I have, I think they're DIY four by shackle flips with the stock rear leaf springs uh, there's new Bilsteins there this tow hitch is built out of quarter inch thick tube steel you can kind of see it in there receiver and the trailer brake connector is all wired up tail lights are all wired up blue plate Toyo's got decent tread on them. 
Um, these are 20 by 10, I believe, XD wheels. Well, there's some tie downs on. Got a full size spare. Uh, I believe this holds 42 gallons. What else, what else, what else? So on the front, you got a quarter inch tube cross member connecting the frame rails with leaf points there. Axles a 78, 79, F250, high pinion Dana 44 with 409 gears. Rear 14 bolt is 410 gears. Has a sky off road high steer arm, crossover steering. Bilsteins with shock hoops. Had to extend the lower mounts because they were about four inches too short. G2 diff cover. So there is your Dodge transfer case. Got to get some, there we go. Carrier bearing. And then your stock output on the front as I believe going to intersect this cross member. Let me back up. Cross member here. So I think this is going to have to come over and catch the bottom of the frame rail to allow you to grab that pinion up there. Um, these are, I believe, off-road design hanger mounts. These are brand new, made in China leaf springs. Um, there's your ATS deep pan. I had one of these bust on me on the freeway, so I had to do a little custom connector. I'm trying to think what else. That's about it. I'll cut this video off and I'll do another video of like a drive, but kind of gives you a feel for, oh yeah, I forgot. 1973 VIN plate.